Wow, what a commute. Where the heck are we going? We're on a Washington State Ferry headed to Bainbridge Island. We're leaving Seattle. You got the Space Needle. You got downtown there. It's about 45 minutes. We're going to get over there. And then there's five large trees we'll be safely removing and hauling to a wood recycler on the island. So not only are you going to get to see how we remove these five large cottonwoods, but also what happens to a tree once it's removed. It's going to be a good one. Don't forget, like and subscribe. In a forest setting, these are just incredible trees. They are uh, just a, a, a species that never, never stops. They just keep growing and uh, they're ab absolutely gorgeous this time of year as it's, they turn into um, kind of fall color. But let me show you the project. Forest setting, not exactly. Here we are, we have a busy roadway. We've got three phase high tension wires. We have houses with children that are, you know, always playing in this area. And the reason we're here is because these beautiful, huge trees, even on a, uh, on a calm, sunny day, will shed large scaffold branches. And we're not talking little branches, we're talking big branches that can cause all sorts of damage or even hurt somebody. So being arborists, we work around all sorts of really interesting obstacles and, uh, you know, people, property all the time. There's a, uh, like an ant nest on the property. And if we can remove all these trees without disturbing that ant nest, that would mean a lot to them. So right over here is a little ant nest. Oh, they kind of quieted down because we covered it. And I think, uh, yeah, that, look at that. So it's going to be our job not to disturb this nest. Abe said he just finished unloading and asked if we still need saws. We definitely, I think he should bring saws. Okay. Because we're good on the we won't need I mean, we don't need a, another person here right away. Yeah, we're so. all good. Just clean up all these uh, all Banks has his saw pants on. Alright, our nearest hospital is 1950 Northwest Near Road, Silverdale. So, okay. Don't get That's hurt. Good to know. Yeah. Yeah. Way up that way. Obviously, we've got electric. There's like 7200 right there. So, we're going to need to keep it. Basically keep as much distance, like Peter was saying, do not lay anything across the wire. I don't know if you've ever talked about this, but let's just say there's a branch on there and you're able to cut a stump or a chunk of wood and you can throw it at it and it'll knock it off. Don't grab it. Don't grab it. Don't grab it. Don't grab it. Try to get it off. But quick. if you cut a chunk of wood and just throw it. Yeah. <laughs> it will drop something right on the tree. Peter's climbing. Arnie and I are starting out on the buckets. Yeah, other than that, we're good. Let's be safe. Uh, the wood is going to a mulch yard here on the island. Oh, so that's awesome. We'll oh, yeah. be, I could, this is probably three loads. Okay. Yeah, you'll be all right. <sighs> or not. But you'll be all right.
neighbor here across the street from this work. My name is Steve. We've been dealing with these cottonwoods as long as I've been here, longer than that, the last six years. They're, they're trees that break down readily when there's a storm. Branches fall, they fall on the electric wires, the lines here and stop our power. So we've been without power a number of times because of, of these trees. So happy to see it's happening now. Also really impressed with the fact that uh, this equipment man is uh, doing it uh, quickly and uh, I hope safely the, the road is available. And as I'm watching the men trim the tree before they start taking down the trunks, uh, they're careful about where it falls, so I'm, I'm impressed with that. as I can. Yeah, I like this, Peter. I'm just gonna do my face this way. Yeah, that's it. just says we should. <laughs> We've seen the pruning that goes on for years. And of course, having lived here, we suffer through the, uh, the frequent power outages because these come down on the lines. because it was so high and scary. And, and this is a person who spent her career at 35,000 feet. She was a flight attendant. <laughs> and she's afraid of heights. I was just saying, so you're ready to go up there? Then? No, absolutely different. Being in an airplane than being on a tree. I'm not, I'm not gonna lie that I feel like going in a little pessimistic, then things just get better. You know, you're like, oh man, this is, this is gonna be tough. But <laughs> yeah, but it turns out it's like, eh, not so bad. You don't want to be too pessimistic though, because then you just bring him morale down, you know? It's, it's, a, it's a fine line. Sir Arnie. Okay, big guy. Arnie, this one might actually kind of brush you. 
GoPro to GoPro? Yeah, we're good. Okay. Boy. Boy. That's how we do it. Oh, that just had to move like a foot. We we're good. And guys, let's see. You're all good if you just kind of just watch this one. <laughs> we got one more big one, but the rest of these are smaller. And then the oh. and then the top. All right, Emerson, we ready? Yeah, let's do a wrap. All right, I'll probably do a wrap and a half or something here. All right, ready on rope. Right on, so here we go. We're on, uh, Arnie's on tree one. We got two, three, so this is four, five to go. Look at this thing, leaning way out over the lines. We know we've got uh, traffic, we've got people down there. So in my head, I'm thinking about piecing it out. We got a little breeze helping us, but it's been working, it's been working really well to uh, the lower things too. So stay tuned, it's gonna be a good one. Not the ants! The ants! Okay, I'm gonna see if I can curl this one. Okay, here comes a free fall or stand back. keep my phone in a better pocket. Can never access it while I'm climbing. Pretty, look at that. swing and a freaking miss. <sighs> Want long. I don't think so. I'll, I'll I can piece it out. Sucks for me, but it's all good.
And guys, let's see. You're all good if you just kind of just watch this one. <laughs> is a landscaping supply company. We're a soil and compost company. We make all sorts of products here. As you can see, we have these windrows of compost. So what happens is residents and landscapers drop off their yard waste, stuff from landscaping, stuff from gardens. It gets put in that giant mountain there. And then we have that excavator, it scoops that up, puts it in a grinder, which then spits it out into these piles here. Uh, we cap the piles with already composted material. So um, the stuff that needs to compost, it composts evenly. It kills any sort of invasive weed seeds that might come in. And then when it's done composting, we screen that material out into a number of different products. Looks like they're going to want us to put the wood here, but I couldn't believe it. Over there, they're actually uh, they're grinding up. Uh, this time of year, it's uh, grapevines. There's uh, wildflowers, grass clippings. We've got this incredible compost, uh, hog fuel, wood chip mulch. Really cool. So all all the tree debris is staying local, and it's really cool because it's all not only is it staying uh, locally, it's getting used locally by the local community. So big shout out to Tills. Thanks for accepting this load of cottonwood. And we got one more on the way. Uh, Arnie will be bringing it in uh, just a little bit. So. Uh, that's awesome. Yeah, my mom lives nearby. Uh, what a special I'm day. I'm trying yeah. to get him to do more work over here. There's so much work. Yeah. Do you have any uh, memories of me climbing trees when I was younger? Oh, uh, always up, up trees. Yeah, always. I was climbing trees back in the day. <laughs> still, still doing it. The ants are good. Way to go, ants. That was a lot of, a lot of logs coming down nearby. Nice work, guys. Yeah. 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 Way to go, Drivers and passengers, return to your vehicle. Don't forget, like and subscribe.